Victoria is one of the most fire-prone regions in the world. Bush, grass and scrub fires threaten homes every year. These fires are destructive and frightening and it is important for you to be aware of your environment and develop a fire plan to prepare yourself and your property. Human activity, such as campfires or using machinery near vegetation, often starts fires. But so can natural causes out of our control, such as lightning. Vegetation, such as trees and other plants, are fuel for fires. The more fuel there is, the greater the intensity of the fire. Fine fuels, including leaves, twigs and pieces of bark, catch fire easily and burn fast producing a lot of heat very quickly. Larger fuels, such as logs and tree trunks, take longer to catch fire, but produce large amounts of heat over a long time. A continuous ladder of fine fuels from the ground to the tops of the trees can create intense and uncontrollable crown fires. Wind plays a big role in the spread of fires. Embers can be lifted by the smoke column and carried far ahead of the fire by the wind, starting new fires ahead of the main fire front. The type of vegetation also affects how a fire behaves. Open woodlands and scrub are more exposed to the effects of wind and fire will spread more quickly than in dense forests. In scrub or coastal vegetation, fires can burn fiercely due to the large amounts of fine fuels. Plants such as tea trees often contain flammable oils. The wind can cause large showers of embers which start new fires over short distances. Grasslands are open to the full effects of wind and fires usually travel at about 10 to 20 kilometers per hour, but can reach speeds of up to 25 kilometers per hour in extreme conditions. Topography, the physical features of the land, such as hills and valleys, also play a role in the behavior of fires. A fire travels much faster uphill and slower as it goes downhill. The wind can also be funneled through a valley, changing the direction of a fire. A wind change can be extremely dangerous. It looks like this community will be safe as the fire passes in the distance, but on a day of higher fire risk, the wind can suddenly change to a southwesterly, which pushes the fire to the northeast. When this happens, the side of the fire can suddenly become the new fire front much wider and more dangerous than the original one. This can catch unprepared communities by surprise and have devastating effects. In major fires, many people have died following a wind change. Fires are unpredictable, so leaving early is always your safest option.